always uh, say to our mayor, uh, Mayor Turner has created the atmosphere in this city that all of us are welcome, no matter where we've come from and how recently we may have come. Yes. It's good to see Pastor Samuel and World Outreach Church, uh, my church, uh, and uh, it certainly is good to see so many members. Pastor Cyrus, it is good to see you as well, and uh, there is uh, no aging, if I might say this in a public setting. Um, you are continuously on the battlefield, and we're so grateful for your service, as we are of any and everyone else. I'm going to step a little bit away from the podium because I am a little shorter than the others. Um, we're in this church, and I pay tribute to a shepherd of higher dimension that opens the doors. Uh, to all of us. And so I'll start out by saying, no weapons formed against us shall prosper. Yes. Yes. And I truly believe that we may have a moment in history with all of those in diaspora to, at this moment, be able to claim a international dialogue among Haitians around the world. Can you imagine the raising of voices of Haitians from Europe to Africa, to South and Central America, to the Caribbean, uh, to all of the parts of this nation. I've had members of Congress who proudly stand up and say that they have the largest number of Haitians in their district. And I must tell you, there's a little bit of competition because people are glad to work with the people of Haiti and Haiti Americans because we know their strength and their resilience. This is a theme that I want to see today. Madam President, is that we are resilient yes. and that we cannot be denied. Yes, yes, yes. And that your heritage is one of warrior but of peace. Yes. For when America needed you, you stood for us. Yes. That is what we must never forget. So first I want that international dialogue of which I hope that you will join with your fellow nations to say let us speak, let our voices be heard. And then in that dialogue, I wish for credible, fair, and democratic elections. In 2021, many of you know I'm the author of H.R. 40, the Commission to Study Slavery and Develop Operation Proposals. By the way, it does not stop at the border's edge. The Caribbean, Haiti, though Haiti was one of the freest countries, are probably in line as well. But what I do want to say is this is not a time for a band-aid. This is a time for us to say once and for all, Haiti first and her people first. Yes. Haiti first and her people first. I too want to join my colleague in saying political assassination is dastardly. No one, no matter what your view, should ever wish that on someone sleeping quietly in their bed with their loved one, their children. No one should suffer that violence. It hurts me as I stand here today. That is why I'm so strong on ensuring that it is a transparent and widely known investigation. And I really am not fearful because I don't in any way believe any condoning of such, no matter who the operatives may find, find up being, that we in the federal government were a part of anything of that sort. But as you well know, we need the truth. And if operatives have been around no matter where they are, in Haiti or outside, we must know the truth in order to be set free. I finally want to say what a beautiful partner and first lady Mrs. Moniz was or is the strength that she has to carry on to mother the children who frightenedly saw their parents both almost murdered. Thank God for the saving of Mrs. Moniz. Thank God. So let us with resolve say no more band-aids, as I heard a Haitian leader say, and let us with resolve commit ourselves and this nation with President Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, who I know 
are passionate, compassionate lovers of democracy and have a love and affection for the Haitian people. We know that because you were right there in the midst of their victory. For all of us know the truth and the big lie will not exist. So we must go forward on that and I will join in your hands to say that we will not break our chain until the great day of Haiti's victory. Democracy is in Haiti and it stands forever and the people, even in spite of their own independence, are free at last because they have democracy and economic stability and political stability. I love you with all that I can. No weapons formed against us shall prosper.